John here, guys, and today we're talking about breaking things. Keep on fire! You know, I joked on the night of Drone Wars that someone's quad had caught fire, and when I was flying and heard people shout out, fire, fire, I thought they were talking about me that, you know, I was flying so good I was on fire, but... Uh, no, it was someone who was on fire, and to, you know, today it actually ended up being me that was on fire. Uh, it really smells bad. I'm going to take this outside because uh, <laughs> you don't want to keep this in your house. It, it smells like burnt silicone. Uh, if you ever smell burnt quad, it's a very distinctive smell. What are you doing? I just said don't overcook it. You're overcooking it. Bring it over. You want your steak? Bring it over. Bring it over! It's like a piece of charcoal! Bring it over here! This is not quite the video I had hoped to make uh, for today, and it's certainly not the topic that I had planned. Um, now, I had done this new build a couple of weeks ago, and I've been meaning to make a video on it before I flew it. Uh, well, it was all perfect and new. I think I may have snagged a picture. I can't even remember if I did that. Uh, but I was like, well, let me try it first so I can talk about it in the video uh, because this is all new stuff. This is the Hyperlite F4 Furling um, ESC combo, the one that came out uh, right before the new ESC, which has dropped the Hyperlite Pyro branded version. And these are the 2207.5, uh, 1722 KV uh, high voltage team edition. Now, uh, I've been flying the regular 2207 version of the same motor pretty much all last season and I was very excited to finally get my hands on the slightly larger one. Power feels very, very similar, but these do come with the nice large bearing. Now, I crashed so hard into this gate that I think what may have happened is when I crashed, I yanked on this motor hard enough to rip my ESC wires off, which may have made contact with something. And when I came upon my quad, it was actually on fire. Uh, it's pretty scary to see not just smoke, but flames. Uh, as you can see my canopy, this is the campfire quads and this was an actual campfire, uh, was pretty toasty. So let's take a look inside. Now this is not really a reflection on the durability of that stack. Um, I think if you hit anything with enough speed to completely shatter an arm like this, I've I've cracked and delaminated a good number of these campfire arms, but this is one of the very few I've actually snapped in half. So I hit it uh, a pretty good amount of force. Here it is, folks. The awful truth. Okay, so I actually thought my VTX was gonna be okay, but looking at it, it looks like it did heat up enough to release that MMCX connector, unfortunately. So VTX is gone. Uh, this receiver may be good because pretty much the fire was contained to underneath there. Let's take a look. You can see all those ESC components pretty much fried. Let's go ahead and take off the flight controller and look underneath. I, when I, I was able to unplug my battery before the fire reached the battery, because then it really would have ignited. You can see that the underside of this canopy is quite toasty. Uh, this is nylon, so not very easy to melt, but it did melt just a little bit of it, uh, which is a shame because this is my newest canopy uh, for this build. <laughs> Uh, let's look at the devastation. Oh, that's quite, quite toasty. Oh man, uh, if there was any thought that this flight controller might be okay, uh, that pretty much puts that assumption or that hope to rest. Uh, and now that we see the... I was hoping that since the top didn't look too burnt that the flight controller isolated enough of the heat as you can see the vtx the mmcx connector melted off i did have uh, this on top so that would have been one layer higher doesn't look like the antenna wires are too toasted so i'm thinking i can clip these burnt pieces of wire or just desolder them receiver's probably okay uh 
wow this is the furling and it had the copper sheet applied to it and as you can see pretty much every wire uh heat, heated up enough to completely desolder itself from the board wow and uh <laughs> the uh, I'm at a little bit of loss for words. This is just so tough, such a brand new build. Uh, so I was hoping to give you the goods on how this thing flew. And as you can see, I have two capacitors here. I have the small, um, smaller one. I think that's a 470. And then this is the one, I have a 1000 on here too for extra protection, doubled up on those. But uh, I will say at least this hit was my fastest run of the day. We're running the new multi GP format. This is the Texas qualifier. So I'm gonna make a video about that track set up as well and uh i was really cooking man i mean i was really cooking it uh, i was moving so fast and uh neil actually let me trade him a set of the hq 4.5s that i've been flying for a set of the hq uh, 5141s uh, and he was noting that uh, he used them the day before in austin that they were really, really amazing feeling uh, props in the air, but that he actually destroyed three batteries by over uh, using them, by just depleting them down to the point where they were just destroyed. And uh, I found that too. The first, this, I think this was the third pack I had run on these. The first two, I was getting a lot more volt, low voltage alarms. I actually also experimented with my old, uh, one of my old prop uh, favorites, which was the HQ 4.3 V1S. Now that had a lot of control. I, I lost some speed for sure, uh, but that one felt like I could just go full throttle even on these giant motors uh, almost the entire time, or at least as much as I can handle going full throttle. And it didn't even give me a low voltage warning at two and a half minutes. Uh, but with the 5141s, uh, I was definitely pushing it way past the point that I was getting low voltage warnings. And so I may have just heated this entire ESC up to the point where uh, a solder joint just came loose, maybe. I may have heated this copper tape because it's very, very thin uh, up enough to the point where some of it just dripped onto one of these FETs, made a short. Um, in that crash, I may have you know knocked one of these power leads um, off and it you know, would have been hot enough to where a good pull might have pulled it loose into the neighboring ones. Could have been any one of those. Uh, it's, it's pretty hard to say at this point. I mean, you'd have to be like a fire <laughs> recovery expert to be able to pinpoint the source of the damage. Um, the bulk of the devastation seems to be this middle row of fats and of course the power leads. Uh, once those things melted loose, they were probably just shorting like crazy and that's the source of the flames which then burned up the flight controller and uh pretty disappointing that it also killed my vtx now this is the akk race uh which that review may be out it actually has been performing very very well it's a nine dollar vtx so i don't have to cry too much about that vtx only nine bucks this stack was like 50 bucks uh, i want to say 55 bucks so not too expensive i mean compared to some of the acons that i've burned up but uh this just goes, I wanted to take a moment just to show that when you're racing, when you're freestyling, when you're flying, when you're crashing, things break. You know, I, I show a lot of new stuff on the channel, um, but I don't always show things as they get destroyed. And uh, I've been about due, you know, I've been pretty lucky to not have burnt up a lot of stuff recently. I was actually thinking like, wow, maybe I finally found the secret formula, uh, which is funny because I have two builds that I ran all last year that have been through an enormous amount of crashes that are still going. And my new hotness, my new hot build that I didn't even get to make a video on, which I had planned to, uh, <laughs> just burnt up, like literally burnt up my first time ever totally catching something on fire. Um, but, it, but that can happen at any time, you know, it's all just the luck of the draw. I had noticed that this arm was starting to get a little wiggly and uh, I flew it a little bit more anyway. And now I'm really wondering like, man, had I replaced that arm and it had not snapped in this fashion? Now, it was actually cracking a little bit further up. So is it this, but it was weakened, you know? Would this still have happened? Probably so. But anyway, these motors actually fly really, really great. I know that's not the best uh, review for them. I'm hoping they're salvageable. Some of these wires look pretty cooked, but I'm hoping I can you know, cut them short and you know, run some 
race wire or, or something if I have to. Um, you know, probably do something like that. But uh, anyway, disappointing. I uh, had a lot of fun at the Texas Qualifier. I'm gonna make a separate video about that. Really awesome track. Uh, but uh, thanks guys. There's gonna be a lot of exciting stuff coming out the next week or two. I have the Armitan Marmut, Marmout, uh, Marmati coming out pretty soon. Also got some really exciting announcements. I'm gonna be selling some products very soon. So if you have bought stuff for me that's been on the channel, um, stay tuned because there's gonna be a lot more new stuff coming out very, very soon. So, and a couple other cool things. I have that new um, Hyperlite stack coming and a couple of other good things on the way.